Hello friends, this is Team Super Simplified and today we are here with another lecture in the video series. Today's topic is Nobel Prize in Physics 2016 which we will be explaining to you in a super simplified manner as usual. So let's get started. So first of all a brief background of the Nobel Prize. It was uh, instituted as per the will of Alfred Nobel who was a scientist who invented dynamite. 1833 to 1896 was his lifespan. 1895 Nobel Prizes were instituted and they were given away for the first time in the year 1901. Originally they were given uh, in five disciplines physics, chemistry, medicine, literature and peace. And in the year 1968, one more discipline called economics was added. Okay. Just for general knowledge purpose, who was the first Indian to receive a Nobel Prize? He was Rabindranath Tagore in the year 1913 for Gitanjali. And who is the most res recent recipient? Indian Kailash Satyarthi, Nobel Peace Prize 2014, who shared it with Malala from Pakistan. Right now, these are the three scientists who have received Nobel Prize in Physics for 2016: David, Duncan, and Michael. David will be receiving 50% of the prize amount, and the remaining 50% will be distributed between Duncan and Michael. All three of them are UK-born and immigrants to USA. Okay. So let's see for what discovery or for what invention this prize was given this year. So according to Nobel Committee. Nobel Prize for this year Physics 2016 was given for the theoretical discovery of topological phase transition and topological phases of the matter. So please don't go away after listening this phrase. Just watch this video for next two minutes and you will be able to understand uh, this uh, difficult phrase. Okay, so let's move ahead. If I ask you a simple question, how many states of matter do you know? I think every one of you would answer that. Three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas, right? These are three states of matter we are aware of. Okay. Let me ask you another question. I have a pan here and I have a gas burner. Gas is on. And if I put an ice cube here, right? So what will happen now? The ice cube will start melting, correct? And I will see water after some time. And if I keep it, uh, keep heating it, I will see water vapor after some time, right? So uh, within few minutes, I'll be able to observe three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. And not only I will be uh, able to see three states of matter, I will be witnessing the transition between these three states of matter, right? Solid to liquid, the transition, the transition from liquid to gas, right? Right in front of you. So uh, this is uh, a simple experiment, okay? So now let me go back to that particular slide, the difficult one. So phases of matter. Now you're aware phases of matter like we told uh, uh, solid liquid and gas and uh, phases phase transition solid to liquid liquid to gas right so these two terms now you understand now we have to see what is topology that we will see after a uh, few slides now uh, in order to move further uh, let me introduce you to two super materials super conductor and super fluid okay so what are these? I think you would have heard of them. The superconductor is a material which uh, at a certain temperature, at an extremely low temperature known as critical temperature, we will call it TC. Below this temperature that material will start exhibiting zero electrical resistance. There is no electrical resistance in this material at a certain below a certain temperature critical temperature right so superconductivity is a phenomena of exactly zero resistance electrical resistance occurring in certain materials when cooled below a characteristic critical temperature and the substances which uh, demonstrate this kind of uh, 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 property are known as superconductors okay so now my question is but why was there resistance above critical temperature in the first place right so the reason is because the electron movement is obstructed by the collisions while traveling through the conductor if this is the conductor and electrons are moving there will be collisions uh, uh, between the electrons or subatomic particles and because of that some energy will be dissipated in the form of heat right that is why uh, the electrical appliances after some time of usage become warm correct now uh, another question i have in mind and i will leave you with this question and this i will answer after certain slides and this is the question which our nobel laureates have also answered with the help of topology so the question is uh, above the critical temperature the same material was exhibiting normal properties as suddenly below critical temperature it has uh, started uh, exhibiting some special kind of characteristics right superconductivity zero resistance all those things below critical temperature so what changes have happened because the material remains same so there are some internal changes which are happening inside so this is very similar to the phase transition we can say right solid to liquid phase we saw right solid to liquid phase transition so this is also a kind of phase transition where the uh, the the boundary is critical temperature right 
so just keep this uh, question in mind and we'll move ahead we'll see what are superfluids so you should be clear what is viscosity viscosity is the resistance to flow every liquid has every fluid has a resistance to flow if you pour some water it will move maybe this distance in one minute and if you pour honey it will move only this distance in uh, one minute right so because honey uh, moves little slowly because the viscosity is higher and in water viscosity is lower right but superfluids have zero viscosity this is the beauty they have a zero viscosity right uh, theoretically uh, it is also said that if you create a whirlpool in a superfluid it will never stop by itself it will never stop by itself you have to apply an external uh, force to stop that whirlpool okay now the question is now you have seen super uh, conductors with and superfluids with um, very fantastic properties but those properties are only visible below a certain temperature below critical temperature they are not visible if these conditions are not met right so why that phase transition is happening what is changing inside that is a question which these scientists have uh, answered with the help of topology so what they say is the topology changes now we were asking ki what changes when a material crosses the critical temperature limit suddenly properties change so internally what changes the, the change which takes place internally is the topology changes now we have to understand what is topology okay so topology uh, we can call it geometrical configuration also it is a branch of mathematics actually and it is related with the phases of matter and phase transitions okay so uh, when the particle uh, when the material was below critical temperature it was having a certain topology okay and after uh, it came down below uh, uh, the critical temperature it has a certain different topology the topology has changed right so topology is a branch of mathematics that describes the properties that change stepwise in whole numbers for example if i take the example of polygon triangle this is a polygon square is also a polygon a pentagon is also a polygon right so uh, i have to take a topological invariant there is a there is a term called topological invariant that you need to know it is a property which is inherent of that material and it changes in steps for example if you take the material as polygon then what is the inherent property the number of sides number of corners so here you have three edges three corners here you have four edges four corners here you have five edges and five corners so you don't have somewhere 3.25 or 3.5 or 4.5 right so this is increasing in uh, as a whole number right and it is an inherent property you cannot imagine a triangle without a side edge or a corner right this is an inherent property and it is increasing step wise so we can say it is a topological invariant correct i'll give you one more example so uh, topological similarity how how do we uh, distinguish between uh, materials or how do we um, uh, 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 try to find out similarity between material if we are uh, looking at them from a topological angle okay so i will present to you six different items so this polo mint and this ring both are similar why because they are topologically similar if i take the topological invariant as the whole here you have one hole here also you have one hole so the topological invariant is a hole here you have two holes and the similarly here again you have two holes so these two are similar and these two are also similar since they have zero holes right so here you have zero here you have two and here you have one so it is increasing in step and it is a inherent property of these objects you cannot imagine a spectacle without uh, these holes right you cannot imagine a ring without this hole this is an inherent property and uh, it is increasing in step right so what these scientists are arguing is they said when the critical temperature this is the boundary so above this temperature when the uh, material exhibits normal properties then it has a different topology okay the material has different topology and the topology changes the geometrical pattern changes once it goes uh, below uh, critical temperature and that is why it starts exhibiting some fantastic extraordinary properties right so i hope you understood this now what is the practical significance of this so a lot of new material uh, have been synthesized uh, based on this principle uh, one of them is known as tenin stenin okay this is nothing but the two dimensional tin two dimensional tin which has hexagonal arrangement or we can say hexagonal uh, arrangement of uh, 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 particles inside okay so this is a tin sheet type of thing so what scientists did they took a, a rod of a tin and they cooled it till its critical temperature and it started exhibiting superconductance perfectly fine then they again increased the temperature of this and uh, the item now started losing 
super conductivity the property of super conductivity right that is quite natural and when it came to room temperature or some particular temperature then it completely lost the super conductivity but instead of taking a tin wire or a rod if you take a tin sheet then you again cool it down to critical temperature it will again start showing super conductivity right and now you start increasing the temperature it will start losing the superconductivity property of superconductivity but the loss will be only in the interior portion of the sheet the edges will retain superconductivity even at the room temperature so that is what this diagram is depicting so you have superconducting edges of this uh, tin 2d hexagonal structure known as tinine so this is uh, a material which has superconductivity and this may be used in quantum computers and all the futuristic applications right so this is a practical uh, discovery so i hope you understood this i'll just repeat the same thing so nobel prize for theoretical discovery of topological phase transition and topological phases of matter i hope you understand this now there are people who are uh, you know arguing that uh, there was a discovery of gravitational waves recently which was uh, discovered at ligo so why ligo has uh, not received the nobel prize here so for that to understand the reason um, you should know how the nobel laureates are selected so the process begins in september when the nobel committee prepares to receive the nominations and nominations uh, are received till 31st january so that is the deadline after that a shortlist is prepared all the nominations are scrutinized and a shortlist is prepared then uh, a review happened on the shortlisted candidates or their thesis and uh, scripts and all those things and then uh, the prizes are announced in october every year okay and the prizes are given away in december so prize distribution ceremony has not taken place yet i am making this video is in october 2016 right so uh, this is the process now what happened with ligo so ligo announcement came somewhere in mid feb and that is why they missed the deadline that is one of the reasons why ligo has not uh, received nobel prize this year and another uh, reason according to me could be the nobel convention of late award after the breakthrough has really shown its impact in the practical world right so these are two reasons so that's all guys that's all from my side if you like this video please do like comment subscribe and share and uh, i hope i simplified this uh, to some extent maybe this is a complicated topic so thank you see you again bye bye